the steam trap typically has a symbol like this and you're coming in often it's saturated liquid true and you're coming out and this pressure coming in let's call it state I don't know 10 this state 11 and the pressure at state 10 is greater than the pressure at 11 true and so it's a big pressure drop this is adiabatic is there any shaft work in or out so Q is equal to W is equal to nothing there's no power no heat transfer so when you do a first law analysis around that steam trap a lot of work later you find steady state neglecting changes in kinetic potential energy what do you find isenthalpic true how many people thumbs up yeah so this state right here this enthalpy at state 11 is just this enthalpy at state 10 for a steam trap Make sense? I'm sorry? What, what caused the big machine? Oh, it's like a restriction. That's why they put this X in a circle. It's like a restriction. If I had a valve like this and I partially closed it, like a water valve, you, had, you partially close it. It goes from, I don't know, water, 60 PSI, 70, 90 PSI at your house, and it just goes to 0 PSI G on the valve outside if you're just going so that there's a big pressure drop across that valve that's all and we have the same thing in refrigerants you'll have a restriction a capillary tube or it flows to a little orifice that maybe uh, a needle moves up and down to control the flow rate a little seat that's an air conditioning applications it's just a restriction 